watching local news that matters. This is Local 44 News at 1030. Education matters this half hour where school enrollment is concerned. There is truth to the adage too much of a good thing. South Burlington's three elementary schools could soon be up against an urgent problem. They may soon have higher class sizes than they have enough space for. Local 44's Mike Hoey joins us now live in the newsroom with more on this problem. Mike? It certainly seems that way at the moment, Lauren. South Burlington School Superintendent David Young said at tonight's school board meeting he wanted this on the board's agenda as a way of initiating community discussion. South Burlington School Superintendent David Young noted Chamberlain School has more available space than Marcotte Central and Orchard schools do. But according to data from a South Carolina-based research firm, the classes of younger students coming into all three are larger than the older classes going out. Orchard, which saw a lot of the building growth, particularly in the last decade, now shifting to Central and, and Chamberlain, um, again, small cohorts going out early in the in the decade. Young plans on talking about this with community members next Monday at 6 p.m. in a question and answer session. On Wednesday night, the school board members received a report from an outside consultant about what the agenda only described as a racial incident at the South Burlington High School. There were no specifics of which incident that was, but the well-publicized incident during a varsity volleyball match at the high school in which a slur was directed at the Burlington girls team took place two weeks ago. We did not get this report until we were already in executive session and executive session did not cover this report, so I don't think that we're prepared prepared to report out on it tonight. Um, this was also done by a third party who was managed um, by our legal counsel. The outside report will be back on the school board agenda at its next meeting on November 3rd. Another likely subject of conversation that night, the possibility of a COVID vaccine mandate for school staff. Other surrounding districts have, as David has said, already kind of made some of the mistakes. We could kind of learn from those and perhaps put something in that is better um, than what they're doing. Um, but I think this is something we should probably still keep talking about in a future board meeting. Um, obviously, we're not prepared to take any kind of action on it tonight. We should also note, Lauren, last week, the central office of the South Burlington Schools began packing up for a move to the former City Hall. This is going to be the first time all of the district's various departments will ever be under the same roof. Live in the newsroom tonight, Mike Coey, Local 44 News. Mike, thank you. To make sure the American people have